I must be dreaming. dreaming. Where am I? Wild animals? What? This place is floating above Earth. What does it mean? Your destiny on Power Rangers Wild Force. Coming to Fox Kids February 9th. It's another dream. A ball? In a dagger? Calls wild animals? Whoa! Who are the animals fighting? You'll find out on Power Rangers Wild Force. Coming to Fox Kids February 9th. Another dream. It's the, it's the evil orcs! I'll have to fight them alone! Not exactly. We'll be here to help. Wait! Who are you? Who are you? You'll find out. A Power Rangers Wild Force. Coming to Fox Kids February 9th. Coming February 9th. Where am I? Someone will answer the call of the wild. Introduces the world's newest forces of nature. Blazing Lion! Blazing Lion! Noble Tiger! Noble Tiger! Surging Shark! Surging Shark! Soaring Eagle! Soaring Eagle! Iron Bison! Iron Bison. Together, they are Power Rangers Wild Force. A brand new team with so many new adventures. They're starting earlier in the day with a one hour series premiere at a special time. Yeah! Sounds like the early bird gets the worm. All right, let's go. let's go. Watch the one hour series premiere of Power Rangers Wild Force coming Saturday morning, February 9th at 8 Eastern, 7 Central and Pacific, only on Fox Kids. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ranger Chronicles. I am your host, Charlie Neymar, and today we are embarking on our first foray into the world of Power Rangers Wild Force. It is the first Disney season, technically. The sale had gone down, as I mentioned last time, but uh, between the seasons, I guess, or at least after, maybe near the end of Time Force. So while this is a Disney season, it does start off on Fox Kids up until August. So. We'll have plenty of Fox Kids episodes and some Fox Kids promos to play in between the episodes. It'll be a lot of fun. In any event, we are going to jump into our first episode, which is called Lionheart. We are going to do this in three, two, one, go. Lionheart was the first episode of Power Rangers Wild Force. It first aired on February 9, 2002, written by William Winkler and directed by Koichi Sakamoto. Is that the monkey, one of the monkeys from the Turbo movie? Let's go get some bananas. Where do you put all that food? Cole! Time to get ready for the ceremony! Come on! Okay, I'll be right there. Cole, here you have lived since before you could walk, and we have always treated you as one of our own. The time has come for you to follow your own life path. These were in the grass near where we found you as a baby. A picture? I guess that's his parents. With some third guy cut off and a red ball. Interesting. a time in every 
everyone's life when they must find the courage to seek out their destiny. But sometimes what you seek isn't always what you find. A narrator. Nice. This is the city. Combination of California and Japan. Hey! We've already got a ranger! Oh, interesting. I guess you're not supposed to notice they're just reversing the splash. Or the... Yeah. Oh, they've already got four rangers here. seen two orgs together something's changed yeah I can feel it we need a fifth ranger <clears throat> calm down guys I say we're doing just fine the way we are oh yeah I mean you let them leave and you lost them fine Is he just mow uh, mowing? Rowing that in circles? He's just now noticing it? Look how far out in that water he is. Makes you wonder, is this, uh... Him just out there, or were those extras that were brushing him off? This is not going to be easy. There's Vanderbilt Avenue. That looks more like New York than any other city I've seen. Oh, look a doggy out of well, nowhere. You too. I'm looking for these people. Have you seen them? You're right. It is a big city. A very big city. <laughs> oh, that's a bench! Okay. Didn't look like a bench from that one angle. Hey, is that the same dog? Oh, look at all the little doggies. <laughs> uh, all this hard work makes me hungry. <laughs> I hear chickens. Wow. That's a good jump. Bring 
strangers, I think I may have found the answer to our problems. Toxica, uh, I miss the old days. Uh, the old days. For the power and the glory. Uh, if only the master could find a way to return to us. That dude's got some stuff on his face. Oh, there you go. Check out those horns. Cole? Is your name Cole? Hey! It's okay. We need you to come with us. Come on, man. You're gonna love this. It's really cool. Yeah, that's not a way to do it, dude. Oh my goodness, you're a big you tree. Come with us. And uh, um, Danny's right. This is really important. You can help us save lives. <laughs> oh! Sorry, Jungle Boy. You've just been drafted. <sighs> Dang. That knocked him out. I think he needs a bath. And they just leave him on the ground somewhere <laughs> in the middle of the forest, apparently. Or jungle, I guess. Okay, that was different. As you probably heard from when I gave the credits, the uh, behind the scenes people have changed a little bit. I don't believe Judd Lynn has anything to do with this season. We'll find out about Ju uh, Jackie Marchand. This is another one that'll be fairly similar to the Sentai it's based on, Gal Ranger. Although there are some changes to it. But I think they actually got some of the creatives from that series brought over for this. And of course, Koichi sticks around. Whoops. Thank goodness he fell straight down. It can't be. It's a floating island. You're just now noticing this? How can you tell from right there? Although that is cool, but how could you tell from there? Ow. Wow. I've never seen anything like you. You you've been searching for me? All right, so this is also our first season with CGI Zords. Also, some of the footage will be a little interesting because the for this season, the 25th, season, 25th anniversary of Super, Super Sentai, Toei put money into getting new cameras for the first time in forever. So the, the Japanese footage will match the American footage a little closer. You have been chosen to be leader of the Power Rangers Wild Force. Keeper of the animal spirits. Hey, those guys again. And the girls that were already there. You have already met your fellow Rangers. Alyssa. Hi. Danny. She's so Max. happy. So. And Taylor. You and me? This has to be a mistake. There is no mistake. You have been chosen to help us in our battle against the evil orgs. Sorry we had to kidnap you. We were all, you know, like you. Like... Uh, uh, exactly. 
We're all kind of new to this, but it's great. I came here to find my destiny. Hey, so did we. Ha, huh, we all have them. He thought he was cooler than them. Funny. The orbs are back. All right, guys, let's move out. Taylor's in charge at this point, by the way. Will you join us? Will you join us? That looks like a good spot to put from a for a commercial for the show. Wild Force premieres this week. Will you join us? I can see that. In the Sentai, the Red Ranger was a veterinarian, I believe. Oh, show and tell. Nice. There we go. I gotta admit, I love the music. Now, as near as I can tell, when I've seen comparisons, most of this morph is just them putting their American heads on the Japanese figures in that morph. Yellow's a dude in the Sentai. Didn't they meet last night? The gloves with the claws are not an all the time thing. They just seem to switch back and forth to with them. Seems to get the, na the hang of this pretty quickly though, doesn't he? Ooh, that's new. Although you never saw the shot hit. Yes, I hear you. Guys, See, the claws aren't there anymore. This is no time to talk. We have to get rid of those orbs. Wait, you've got to listen. The lion just spoke to me. What? Oh, what did you say? I said the lion spoke to me. He told me that only one can defeat two. I think that means we have to combine our weapons and work together. Makes sense. But you don't even know of the weapons. Are you guys with me? Yes. You haven't produced weapons yet. How do you know this? There you go. Now this is going to be some interesting editing. Because in the Japanese, the... Well, I'll show you in just a sec. All right, so you get this nice sweep around right there. And then right about that spot where it hits, there's usually some big Japanese kanji comes up on the screen. I'm not sure what it says. But they've successfully made sure to edit it out. That's cool. Oh. You know, I didn't notice the horns on the other orgs. We gotta find that other orc. I know he went this way. He's probably hiding nearby. He couldn't have gotten too far. You don't stand a chance against me now. 
That's never good. I've never gotten that big before. I can't believe it. How did it get that big? I don't know, but I've got to stop. It. Yeah, that'll work. No. See, the wind goes to that thing, and there you go. I love this music, though. They do have an interesting combination of some uh, practical effects in these too. See? They do have some bits that are practical just for contact purposes. Hey, there's your opening shot. Oh, I'm so scared. Fire. They hit him with the rainbow. set out on their wild adventure. Yes! It's weird with the narrator. Next time on Power Rangers Wild Force. They've never gotten that big before. They must be getting help. It's so good to be home again. Our armies are being reborn. Stop! We can work this out. Get him! There has to be another way besides fighting. We should try to reason with it. Do you really think that an org would listen to you? I have to try. Because wait, every living thing has a heart. If I can just connect to it, there's a chance. I can't hear anything. You don't have a heart. Now we can keep it together. Next time on Power Rangers Wild Force. Orgs don't have hearts. All right. So what did you think of the first episode? I, You know, a lot of it's rushed. Just because of the whole, um, well, trying to fit it all in half an hour. Or 20 minutes as it was. But, uh... I thought it was pretty good for your first episode. And then I guess they'll use the second episode to explain things. See, that's the thing. With Mighty Morphin, they squeezed it all in that first episode. But they didn't take the opportunity to, you know, actually explain things later. It just... They just kept going. I think this will help explain things a little bit. But, yeah, that was pretty cool. I still want to know how he could tell that that island was floating from where he was on that cliff. But, whatever. Anyway... So, we're going to take a quick break, and after that, I'll be right back with our second episode. The premiere of Power Rangers Wild Force will be roaring right back on Fox Kids. You can wild access the Power Rangers Wild Force by checking out foxkids.com. The fury of the new Power Rangers Wild Force is back on Fox Kids. All right, and we're back, and we're ready to start episode two, Darkness Awakening, which we will start in three, two, one... Go! Wild 
Darkness Awakening was the second episode of Power Rangers Wild Force. It first aired on February 9th, 2002, written by Derek Rydall and directed by Koichi Sakamoto. him into Japanese footage? Are they making their own American CG footage of these Zords? If protecting nature is my path now, there has to be another way to stop the orgs besides fighting them. No, not really. So this is how an org is formed. It possesses stuff. Really? He's freaking out like that just because of some... Okay, now I would be freaking out. Did he die? No, I can still hear him. I wonder if that... I wonder if there was a police officer that died of the Japanese version. Did you find out anything about the orgs? No. I do like the interesting timing of this season, by the way. It's the 25th season of Super Sentai, and it's the 10th season of Power Rangers. So we get anniversaries either way. How do you find time to save the world and go to school? Nice of you to swing by. Really do need a bath, idea. dude. How do you with the orgs? Rangers, you must stop this org. Let's go. Now, back in my early days of Ranger Board, someone pointed out something interesting about Cole's acting. So many people had thought that he's just a bad actor. But. Else, uh, someone else had the idea that maybe this is an acting choice. I mean, he's been raised in the jungle. You saw it just there when they were all running over to the fountain. He hunkered down like he was a monkey. So maybe that's true. Maybe his stilted acting is because he's not used to talking like a human. Should be interesting to see. It's too bad she couldn't have been uh, Viper. But if she had been Viper, she wouldn't be here for to be Toxica. And that, by the way, is Jindrax. I don't know if they made that clear earlier. That's Jindrax and Toxica. This is Master Org. A completely American ver uh, villain. You will see, uh, like, general orgs, I think, in this series season. Those were actually the different main bosses. I think there was like three or four, four or five of them, maybe, uh, over the course of the series in Japan. And of course, this time we have the American version. He's his costume at this point in the series is actually based on the main villain from Die Ranger. There's something different about him. He feels just as evil, but his appearance. So maybe he's put on a few years. You know, you're not spring org yourself. What? But you don't Ooh. have to pay over a thousand. The nexus for thousands of years. We will have and he wears platform shoes. <laughs> Even now, our armies are being reborn. <laughs> there is a new org. Go find him. He's wreaking havoc 
and the city. Yes, right away. Uh, come on. There is also quite a bit of a mystery around this org. Which, uh... That little bit does not help to revolt resolve. Hey, Why guys. did we make that blink? That's weird. Maybe the org is like a wild animal driven from its home. We should try to reason with it. Do you really think that sure, no problem. To you? Animals don't attack without a purpose. If we can find out what that is... Do whatever you want, leader. We have an org to stop. Let's go. And also, obviously, we're still waiting for him to get his hair cut, because you saw he has shorter hair in the morph. Cole, maybe Taylor is right about the orgs. Why do you say that? Look, Max and I have only been rangers for about six months. Danny only two. You, well, Taylor, she's been one for over a year. She knows a year. these orgs. So she was a ranger during the Time Force, guys. Huh. I wonder why she didn't go into help. I wonder why the other four didn't go into help a little bit. For your first mission, you eh, different cities. This is not Silver Hills. And we shall give you the power to do it. Got it? <laughs> By the way, this is Turtle Cove, California. Um, you know, Taylor, maybe we shouldn't have left Cole behind. People are in danger. We don't have time to babysit. He's still new. Well, think of it as on-the-job training. Besides, he's with Alyssa. He'll be okay. But he's our leader. Oh! I wonder if that just made her a little jealous. Ugh. So there's some milkshake on the ground and the putrids come up? Ugh. Okay, this is also going to be one of those seasons where they definitely are going to rely more on stunt actors for the fights. Please. This guy can leap, man. I just want to talk. He's like Damon when he's morphed. Every living thing has a heart. If I can just connect to it, there's a chance. Cole, don't! I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> not gonna hurt me. He's made out of barbed wire. I don't think you could hurt him. That's two reasons. Oh no! Oh no, she landed and hit her head on her arm. Ow. So the others are gonna show up, right? Yeah, there we go. Let me help you. Now you know what we're up against. Pull through that chair. I'll take you right now. Oh, yeah, how come he found a white chair with amongst all that green stuff? Could exist. Stop your whining. You're our 
our leader. What are you going to do? I guess... This is the only way. Each growl phone is actually unique in itself as well. There's one piece of it. I think if you can buy them, but the pieces that are unique are uh, interchangeable in the toys. Well, we don't get a one at a time morph too often in this uh, show. Oh, that's another fun thing. Now, in the Japanese version, the eagle was noble because the tiger was Bell Tiger. But for some reason, they didn't like that in the American version, so the tiger became noble, so the eagle became soaring. It works. I think they kind of do. An org shaped out of barbed wire. I don't think they know who they're dealing with. That's her big move. Oh, this is our first American morphed fight. Awkward physics there, but that's okay. Oh, no, we had a morph fight last... No, that was not American, was it? I don't think that's American. That might have been American. Those are very animated in the American footage. Actually, no, we had them earlier that they didn't look that animated. They look like straight out of a cartoon. I still think it'd be cool and better with Jungle Saber, but Jungle Sword works. You know, I'm thinking I'm realizing that they're pausing the footage and then adding their own effects to it. I also just realized that the org was spouting or spurting out some sort of goop. Ew. Who are you? You can see the goop on the ground. And I am Toxica, Duchess of Orgs and Mistress of Magic. Nice shot. Evil spirits of toil and strife. Oh, you will hear this a lot. Also, that particular growth footage will be used for every single org that grows in the series. Take your time, Wild Zords. How big is this island? It's got so many different environments.
was kind of cool using the uh, footage to have the lion jump over that walk walking bridge, I guess, pedestrian bridge. He says we must combine our swords to defeat the org. Wow, can they do that? Well, let's find out. Yeah. No, the lion just says to do that because they can't. Thought it'd be funny. Wow, where'd they go to this fire all of a sudden? Over a volcano? Now, in the Japanese version, there's this sound effect that plays every time they're in there. It's kind of gross. It's just like a... I'm not gonna... It just sounds like kind of bubbling goop. Wow. See what I'm talking about with the music, though? This is... I love this music. It's unique to this series. Wild Force Megazord. Yep. First introduction, so the monster can't do anything to the Megazord. Oh! <laughs> the Megazord gets a little angry, too. Wow. That's a higher quality CG. What's fun, though, is that this cockpit will change because they're going to have to introduce another Zord that will become the cockpit on all their Megazords. So enjoy what you're seeing here now because this is very temporary. Like, maybe ten episodes? Maybe even not even that many? So you've returned! Were they not expecting him? They have no idea that the forces which will destroy them grow stronger and stronger with each passing moment. Master Org. They shall fill the wrath of three thousand years of vengeance. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jungle Boy. We got a little welcome gift for you. What is it? Our next mission. Oh, a bath! And a haircut. A deodorant spray. Oh, and his jacket! <laughs> Slightly torn jeans, nice shoes, and uh, short hair. Oh, that's just rude. But that way they can show off the muscles. And that's the footage they used for his intro in the intro. What? Oh, a camera. Taylor, I'll get your 
body back. Well, that's actually a pretty cool effect. Okay, I think we've just been indicated that he's going to lose that fight. All right, so see, we have a little bit of a... Uh, it's kind of a... was a two-parter, I guess. Didn't really explain much. I mean, it explained how the monster got big... How the, my, the org, sorry, got bigger. They're not monsters this season, they're orcs. Of course, they were mutants last time I kept calling them monsters, so who knows. Anyway, it just more explains the bad guy side than the good guy side. Doesn't explain where the little orbs come from, I guess. Anyway, well, that's going to do it for our first episode looking at Wild Force. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Next time out, we will be watching two more episodes. Click, click, zoom, and never give up. Oh, which is a phrase that will be consistently repeated all the way through the rest of the season. Anyway, I want to thank you again for listening. I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you then. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Ranger Chronicles. Feedback for the show can be sent to prchronicles at gmail.com. Or feel free to leave a comment on the show's posting at powerrangerchronicles.com. Ranger Chronicles is now on Patreon. If you'd like to support the show, please visit patreon.com slash rangerchronicles for more information. All images and music heard on the show are copyright the respective copyright holders and are used for entertainment purposes only. No infringement is intended. This show is dedicated to everyone, both in front of the camera and behind the scenes, who have worked to bring us Power Rangers since 1993. Ranger Chronicles is a proud member of the Toon True Freaks Internet Radio Network. Please be sure to stop by twotruefreaks.com to check out more great shows. Thank you, and may the power protect you.